Welcome or welcome back to Really Haunted Places. Tonight's top 7 ghost stories will take you to haunted places in Maryland. The Glendale Hospital in Maryland opened its doors in the 1930s to treat and house people who suffered from tuberculosis. Adults and children called the hospital home for decades. The adults and children were located in different areas of the hospital. There are also narrow tunnels under the hospital. Stories say that when Glendale was a functioning facility, the patients endured torture and experimental treatments. Eventually, in 1984, the hospital was closed. People brave enough to investigate the hospital have reported hearing strange noises, yelling, banging, and even laughter. Others have reported smelling burning flesh. The ghosts of patients, as well as dogs, have been seen. One of the saddest stories is attached to a man seen in a straitjacket in one of the rooms. It is believed he killed himself after being unable to live with the guilt of not saving the family he watched get murdered. Visitors to the hotel have reported countless encounters with ghosts as well as other paranormal activity. Some guests have claimed that they had nightmares while staying in the hotel because they are sensitive to the presence of the paranormal. Others have claimed to feel as if they are being watched while asleep. People who have ridden in the elevator and been in the lobby say the sensation of being touched by a pair of hands has occurred. The elevator also randomly visits the 19th floor when no one pushes the button for that floor. When on the 19th floor people have claimed to see the ghost of a little girl with a red ball, black shoes, and a long, cream-colored dress. Others have seen the girl crying, rocking back and forth, and screaming. In addition, the hotel's supervisor has seen the ghosts of two adults on the 19th floor. Local legend states that a married couple committed suicide by jumping off the Lord Baltimore Hotel after the stock market crash of 1929, leaving behind a little girl. Many, including some of the hotel staff, believe that those are the ghosts that guests see today. When the Baltimore County Almhouse opened in 1874, it was to serve as a home for the elderly, the mentally unwell, the indigent, and children. An addition was made to the almhouse which housed prisoners. People who have spent any time at the almhouse have made claims of assorted paranormal activity. Some people claim that if you visit the third floor you may hear the voices of women talking. Other people have stated that they have heard the sound of children in the building playing. Further claims state that it is possible to see the faces of children not only in the windows of the house when standing outside but throughout the interior. Dr. Samuel A. Mudd was the doctor that treated John Wilkes Booth for his broken leg after he assassinated President Abraham Lincoln. John Wilkes Booth received treatment at Dr. Mudd's home. Believing he was a co-conspirator in the assassination of President Lincoln, Dr. Mudd was tried and ended up spending years in prison. Thanks to his wife's tireless efforts, Dr. Mudd received a pardon from President Andrew Johnson and returned to his home. Dr. Samuel A. A. Mudd's house is now a museum and historical site. Stories claim to see Dr. Mudd's ghost wandering his property and the home. Other claims have stated the bed where Booth slept will show the impression of a body in the bed. R. Sure, this covered bridge seems beautiful and peaceful during the day. 
Wander through it at night and you may see ghostly bodies hanging from the rafters. Some believe the bodies are those of local teens who hung themselves decades ago. Others think that the bridge was used for lynching, whose apparitions are forever cursed to remain dangling in horror. In Scotland, Maryland is one of the most haunted locations in the state, Point Lookout Lighthouse. Point Lookout has been home to countless tragedies and disasters. The area served as a prisoner of war camp, a hospital during the Civil War era, a hotel destroyed by a fire, and a lookout point during the Revolutionary War. In 1830 construction on the Point Lookout Lighthouse was completed and it became a functional lighthouse. In the years since its construction, the lighthouse has been home to an extraordinary amount of hauntings. A man in Civil War era clothing is one of the most frequently seen ghosts. He is said to be in horrible physical shape, smells of gunpowder and mildew, and it is believed he was attempting to free himself from the smallpox unit that once stood in the area. Another ghost is that of an elderly woman who appears to be looking for something on the beach. It is believed she is looking for a missing gravestone. Within the lighthouse people have captured voices on their recorders. Ghosts of wounded Union soldiers have been spotted and temperatures drop dramatically. Located on Key Street in Hagerstown, the Jonathan Hager House Museum dates back to 1740 and was the home of Hagerstown's German immigrant founder. The home was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places in November of 1974 and was opened to the public as a historic house museum in 1962. Stories say that the home is haunted, possibly by two different families. One being the Hammonds, who lived in the home in the 1840s, and the Downins, who resided there during the Civil War era. Haunting reports at the museum include voices, disembodied footsteps and lights that turn off by themselves. Some say the Downin children are to blame for a doll that moves around and the reason why cameras tend to not work properly inside the home. I want to thank you for watching. And until then, good night.